Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Um, we have the new moon coming up on March 2nd. Um, you can contribute to the new moon money jar. And this money jar is to um, bring in more abundance, of course, in your finances. Uh, but it could be that you want to bring in abundance for all things good, prosperity, peace, love, happiness, joy. Um, if you are feeling moved to, you can donate to the money jar. Any dollar amount is welcome. Uh, a new moon prayer will be held uh, for abundance on March 2nd so that we can manifest corporately. So take advantage of that if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, let's get into your reading. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's coming to you in the near future. Okay, we've got child, okay? And then we have occupation. So maybe some of you are gonna be starting a new business, a new side hustle, a new gig, something here. Um, it's, it's definitely new. You could be starting small. It could be coming to you in the springtime or March. You're gonna launch then. Um, you've gained enough knowledge. So, uh, you, writing also, I don't know if this is like writing a child's book or a children's book. You've, di you've done some writing or you are writing, um, it's something new. It's something uh, where you're gonna start small, but it could be massive for you. It could be really big. You've been working on this thing for a while. It's a passion project. It's something you love to do. Also, this could be a new start in a relationship too. It, it, it's going to be hard work with the occupation or it's going to take a lot of work to keep it going, to keep the momentum of staying together, a new start happening between the two of you, whomever you're coming to the reading for. This person could want a new start around maybe March or April. Let's see. Let's see uh, what the soulmate cards have to say. Okay, and where does the power come from? It comes from within. So the cards want you to know that you are powerful. You have or you need to take your power back. Maybe you have given it away by um, continuously beating your head you know, against a brick wall and nothing's happening there. So that will be giving all your time, your energy, your devotion to a relationship, to a person. And there's no change. There's, you're not getting what you want. You still are unfulfilled and dissatisfied. So then you feel powerless. So the, po the cards, you know, the power comes from within. Um, some of you feel like I have found the one that my soul loves. So this could be a new start here. Okay, maybe because you took your power back and now you guys are going to start again. You let someone know that you could not be walked all over or taken advantage of or taken for granted. You're not a doormat. Um, if they're willing to put in the work, then you're, you're willing to give them the opportunity um, or it could be vice versa. Um, but someone feels you or your person or it could be mutual. They, they have found the one that their soul loves. So let's see what the cards have for you for career and finance. So they want you to visualize, see it, be it. If you can't visualize it, it can't come to fruition. Visualization is the ability or to have vision is the ability to be in the present, close your eyes, see yourself in the future, come back to the present and start to make necessary changes, institute different things to get you to that vision of the future. So you have to have vision, visualize, see where you should be, where you could be, what you're doing or what you need to be putting your energy into. Right, let's see. It, right, inspiration. It's your purpose to shine your light. So it's like um, what, what inspires you, whatever inspires you, that's what you need to be going after, especially if, if it's self-employment or some type of work. It could be poetry that you're writing or some type of writing here. It's something that is in, inspired by or um, you find your inspiration in. Um, sit by things, be with things. Some of you could be writing music also. Um, you, you could be writing screenplays, something about writing, okay? Writing is the operative word there. Um, so something about inspiration. Find your inspiration, live in your inspiration. Um, it's your purpose, let it shine and shine your light here. And visualize where you wanna be or what you wanna have or what the future looks like for you. 
This is a really good reading, Virgo. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. If you are a writer, if you are writing something, you want to share it, um, you want to share it with the collective, with the with the channel, you can always email me. Um, this is what I have for you. Contribute to the new moon money jar if you're feeling moved to do so. Go to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.